hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to use deep seek r1 llm model which is the latest and we will use gemini pro so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today i will share with you how you can use gemini pro for object detection means we will send the image to Gemini Pro and of course Gemini will respond as per the image and then for more enhance we will send that Gemini response to DeepSeq R1 model which is the latest LLM model and then DeepSeq will be simply mention their final response so this is what our today's project we will use your Gemini and we will use your DeepSeq also so for that I have created a new repository I will mention the link simply copy paste the link inside web browser code then download zip it will download our zip format repository we successfully downloaded now just open file manager and go to the downloads this is what repository right click click on extract here and it will extract our repository so right click cut home and then just paste it our repository here open it so inside that i have mentioned some images and this is what our agent.py right click open with the tony python ide it will open our code with the help of tony python id so this is what our code as i mentioned friends we will use both from the cloud service simple we will use a gemini so we have our gemini api key and we will use DeepSeq R1 model from Grok Cloud. Simple. So import OS, import CV2, Llama Index, LLMS, Gemini, then Llama Index, LLMS, Grok Cloud, and then Llama Index, Core.LLMS, import chat message, image block, message role, and text block. So first, we need packages for these models. So go to the tools, manage packages, and we will search for OpenCV-Python, OpenCV-Python, hit enter and it will search for OpenCV-Python package, first package, click on install button, done, it will install OpenCV on our Raspberry Pi Bookworm 64-bit version. Then we need Llama, Llama-Index, Llama-Index, hyphen LLMS, hyphen Gemini hyphen gemini llama hyphen index hyphen llms hyphen gemini hit enter it will search for the package first package as you can see select it click on install button done it will install our package then we need llama index llms grok llama index hyphen llms grok hit enter first package as you can see llama index lms grok select it click on install button done it will install our package then we need llama index hyphen core package llama index hyphen core so it will search for the package first package click on install button done it will install package now this is how we want to install all the packages we we need OpenCV hyphen Python, then we need a Llama index LLMS Gemini, then we need Llama index LLMS Grok, and then we need Llama index core package. Done. So we have done with package installation. So before we move to our code, let's just first download our API keys. So we will start with Grok Cloud. So let me open Grok Cloud website. So friends, I have opened Grok Cloud website. As you can see console.grok.com simple it is really easy you need to simply uh, search on grok api it will open their website then go to the api keys option and here we will generate our api key so i have here already one api key for last session i will just delete and then click on create uh, api key it will create our api key so here we want to uh, mention the project names or any name for key i will go with rpi4 and it will just verify and then 
we can see the submit button simple so friends as you can see there is a submit button now we successfully verified now simply click on submit button and it will generate our api key as you can see we have our api key just copy as it is copy it and here we will create our new file which is the api key so just click on it and just create the new file so so here i will simply mention api keys click on ok and again open it it will open the api keys file with the help of our text editor just paste it our grok cloud api key done file and save it now we will go for gemini api key so friends i have opened gemini api key website as you can see ai.googledev just go to the get uh, gemini api key and here friends click on create api key select any project click on create api key it will create our api key which we will copy again in our same file just copy it minimize all these things and here this is what our gemini api key file save it gemini api key always start with a and grok cloud api key always start with g simple so let's just close the website close it and now we will open our code so what is our code as i mentioned we will we will read the image using cv2 import cv2 so image path this is what our image path then as we always do cv2.imread we will read the image then we will resize the image and the resize image we will save in the same folder and the resize image which we will send for object detection purpose using gemini model here it is gemini model and the model name is 1.5 flash which is the latest model so we will use here dipc r1 model also also we will use here gemini 1.5 five flash model the both model then send image plus prompt to gemini send image plus prompt to gemini so message gemini this is just a variable and chat message so chat message from the llama index from this here it is as you can see chat message so from chat message from here chat message we will mention the role so this is the user role so message role dot user and then the blocks so blocks is basically two blocks one is basically our text and another one is basically our image so as i mentioned we will send the resize image so resize image and the mean type is basically image jpeg and then this is what the text so text is basically detect object in this image simple we will go with simple text that's it so this is basically our this is basically our gemini gemini message means we will send our image along with the text done and then of course gemini will return the response so response gemini gemini pro dot chat gemini pro dot chat and the message inside that we will pass our msg gemini and then it will mention the response now what we want we want to extract from this response gemini we want to extract the text so extract detected object text method so here we will use has attribute method so this has attribute method basically use this response gemini here it is as you can see use this response it will use the response gemini and it will basically grab the text it will basically grab the text from this response gemini and it will it will mention the text as this detected object so now this detected objects is basically our response gemini where we have all the ob detected objects names as a text simple and then we will use this response gemini to our text means our response from our gemini and we will send that response again to deepseek model to enhance the enhance the gemini output here it is as you can see i have mentioned send gemini's output 
to dip sick r1 for enhancement so here message dip sick this is just a variable again we will use our chat message chat message simple and then role message role user then blocks again blocks so here because the deep seek model which is basically not vision model so only we want the text block so here only one block which is the text block and text inside that we will mention enhance this object detection data and what is our data as i mentioned our data is basically this detected objects detected objects as you can see simple now it will it will work with the response which we got from the gemini and it will it will enhance the result so our final result for object detection is basically we will have from the deep seek r1 which is the most enhanced model simple and then the response llm response llm llm dot chat our model llm dot chat which is the deep seek and inside that model we will pass our message deep seek variable as simple as and then we have our final response so as i mentioned what basically we have done here we send the prompt we send the prompt and image to gemini simple and then gemini will return the response and the the response we use with has attribute method it will extract the gemini response and it will basically save all the response as this detected object text detected objects as a text and then we create here our new agent which is basically deep seek r1 llm model so the response which we get from our gemini we will again send to the deep seek deep seek r1 and then deep seek r1 will think about the object and it will enhance the response it will enhance the response and then we will get the final response we'll get the idea when we start our code so let's just mention our image so we will go with a two dot jpeg so let me open the image first so this is what image as you can see there is a, a railway work as you can see there is a railway work so we will send this image to first gemini using a text and the image then it will return the response and response again go through the uh, deep seek model and then deep seek will final response simple so let just uh, mention the image name 2.jpg save the code and just run the code So friends, we forgot to mention here our API keys. As you can see, we have to mention our API keys first. So let's just mention here Google API key. So this is what our Google API key. We start with A, capital A. So here I need to mention Gemini API key and then LLM Grok. Here we want to mention our Grok Cloud API key. So this one is Grok Cloud API key. Just paste it here. Now save the code and run the code so friends we have our response ready so let's just scroll up as you can see it started with the think this is the format of deep seek r1 think okay so i need to enhance the object detection data based on provided image description because we are we are providing the description of gemini as a response we get the response from a uh, gemini for object detection so here what we mention here uh, let me show you here we mention here here it is as you can see enhance this object detection data so it says okay so i need to enhance the object detection data based on the provided image description let me start by understanding what the user has given me this is this is how the deep seek r1 work the image is a construction scene so let me open the image as you can see image is a construction scene on railway track on railway track with several elements a large metallic pipe here it is as you can see we can clearly see the large metallic pipe being lifted by yellow crane this is the crane simple so we have we have full 
image explanation we have full image explanation with the help of deep seek r1 model here it is as you can see the next part is first i should break down each element and think about how to represent them it's thinking the model is basically thinking so as i mentioned friends we use gemini for object detection also gemini will response as per the object and then for more enhancing we use deep seek r1 and this is what our result as you can see this is what our result if you just scroll down at the end you will get the final result enhance object detection data so metallic pipe is one so metallic pipe is one class you will get the class so class is metallic pipe description large metallic pipe being lifted also we have here as you can see the coordinates 400300 width and height also then yellow color crane then the class then the description then the bounding box then the construction workers so we clearly see here if you watch the image worker 1 their coordinates worker 2 their coordinates worker 3 their coordinates then the railway track then we have here some trees then we have here bulldozer additional contents all the things we can see so we enhance the result using deep seek r1 model so let's just go for a next image so we have here next image this one this one uh, so 3.jpg so i will mention here again name 3.jpg let's just save the code and let's just run the code so friends we have our response let me open the image and our response is there here it is as you can see okay so i need to enhance again the same way i need to enhance given object detection data the original description is about the this is what the this is what the uh, crane the mobile crane and the name is there here it is as you can see the name so we can clearly see there is a name on the crane there is a name on the crane and then we have all the all the information about this image all the information about this image as you can see simple so this is how friends you can use deep seek r1 for more enhancing the result the object detection result so this is how friends you can use gemini and deep seek both combined way and you can enhance your object detection result i hope you learned something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye